Hello my saxophone players. Um, today I decided I was gonna play sax a little bit. So um, I decided let's turn this into a kind of warm-up video for us. So um, <clears throat> in this video I'm gonna go through three different scales. We're gonna play G scale, we're gonna play D scale, and we're gonna play C scale. Um, we're gonna go over any fingerings that might be confusing for you, but I think you all know where to find those fingerings now if you're not sure about a note. Um, make sure that your reed is wet. You could also start even before this video with some long tones where we're just holding a note out, trying to get a really nice, clear, full sound um, that doesn't sound squeaky or honky um, and isn't real like loud and in your face, but a really pretty, beautiful tone. That's what we're working on. So let's get in to some scales. All right, guys. We're gonna do every scale four times. We're gonna do half notes slurred, half notes tongued, quarter notes slurred, quarter notes tongued, okay? So if you make a mistake on a note, I want you to just keep trying and play some long tones, hold it out here. The first scale we're gonna do is a G scale. So the only note that you might not be sure about in G is that F sharp, F sharp to remind you is boop, this guy down here. So as we're going up, we've got G, A, B, C, D, that's where our thumb comes into our octave key. E, F sharp, back to G with the thumb still on, okay? So let's give that a shot. We're gonna do half notes. So remember two beats each for a half note. Uh, ascending, going up, and then descending. Here we go. Start with our G two beats, ready? Take a breath whenever you need to. One, two, two beats each. <laughs> Okay, let's play that G again and go down. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Okay, so now let's do half notes. So still two beats each. We're gonna tongue in between them. So separating them. Make sure you're not tonguing with the tip. You don't want to tongue at the tip of your tongue. It's just a little bit further back behind that. Okay, here we go. One, two, two beats each. <laughs> Ooh, let's try that again. One, two, two beats each. <laughs> Start with that G. <laughs> My G is always so much nicer at the end than it is at the beginning. All right, let's go to quarter notes. So now you're only getting one beat each. All right, slur it first. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Ready, going down. Nice. Okay, so now tongue them. So the tricky thing is here to make sure that your tongue is touching your reed and creating a little bit of space at the same time that your fingers are changing. That's the really tricky part. Uh, here we go. Tongue it. One. Two, ready, quarter, note. And I didn't stop at the top, I should have said that. Um, great job if you went straight up and straight down. Once you get really good at those scales, that should be the way that you play them. Go right up, boom, and then come right back down. Okay. Let's go to uh, D scale next, okay? So <clears throat> we're gonna start on that low D. So D scale has F sharp. Boom. We uh, remember that from a second ago. It also has C sharp. So as we're coming up, so we're gonna start with everybody down, no thumb, because we're starting on that low D. D, E, F sharp, G, 
A, B, C sharp is no fingers. But you don't want your fingers flying way far away from your keys. You want them right there close to those pearls, okay? So even though C sharp is nothing, keep those fingers close. C and then to D with your octave key, okay? So let's kind of walk our way down to that low D first. I'm gonna play G, F sharp, E, D to kind of get it in my ear. Boom, there it is. Okay, here we go. Two beats each, slurring. We will stop at the top, ready? One, two, ready, half note. Good, let's go backwards. Ready, start on that D. One, two, ready, two, beat. scale three more times. Here we go. Let's tongue it. Okay. One, two. Ooh, did you remember your C sharp with no fingers? Okay, here we go. Ready? Low D. One, two, ready, tongue Go quarter notes slurred. One, two, ready, play. Let's go down. One, two, ready, going down. Okay, tongue them. One, two, ready, quarter notes, tongue. to a C scale, so even one step lower. C scale does not have um, any sharps or any flats in it, actually. So <clears throat> everybody's going to be played the normal way, regular, regular C, okay? B, A, G, F natural is first finger, okay? So we've been playing F sharp the last two scales. Now we got F, E, D, C, bottom one with your pinky here, okay? Let's go the opposite direction just to change things up a little bit. So we're going to descend, and then we're going to ascend, okay? So let's start from our regular C. That would be in the third space on your staff. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Stop, and then we'll go back up. Here we go. Two beats. Slurred. Ready? One, two, ready, play. <laughs> Ready? Now 
now we're tonguing. One, two, ready, quarter notes, tongue. <laughs> So let's do that one one more time. Ready? One, two, ready, nice and clean. Okay, guys. Um, I hope that you tried your best going through all those scales. Feel free to use this video anytime um, you're ready to warm up before you're going to practice something. If you need to review your scales just to get a lot of fingerings under your belt, um, kind of remember what it's like to play straight up and down. Um, these are a great warm up in there, a building block really of, of all music. So know your scales, know your fingerings. This is great. You get to play high, you get to play low and um, takes you through two sharps and some naturals too, okay? So great job, keep practicing.